So we're going to look at writing the equation of the tangent line to a graph. Before we do that, I want to remind you um, about how we just, first of all, find the slope of the tangent line. If we're going to write the equation, then we're going to need the slope. So here's an example of that. Um, let's go ahead. So the first thing we need to do is take the derivative. So by power rule, uh, for the x squared, I bring the 2 down and multiply by the 1 that's there to get a 2. I recopy the base, and then I reduce the power by 1. So it's x to the first. I don't show it. For the next term, I bring the 1 down and multiply by the positive 2 that's there. I recopy the base, and I subtract 1 off the exponent, and I get 0. Remember, x to the 0 is 1, and then so the, the 2 times the 1 would just be 2. So it goes back over here. The other way to think about it is that 2x is a line, and the slope of that line everywhere is 2, so the derivative is 2. Then finally, the derivative of a constant is 0, so I don't need to show the plus 0. You can think about that one because the graph of a constant like say negative 8 is this graph down here. The slope of that graph of any constant graph everywhere is always 0. So if derivative is slope of the graph, then uh, it's always 0. So then that's always 0. So I like this equation. So it goes to 0. There's our derivative. That represents, um, so this, maybe this, I don't know what this uh, original graph looks like, but maybe it looks something like this. Remember that 2x plus 2 has to account for all the different tangent lines. That's why it's got to have an x in it. Like that tangent line has a different slope than say this tangent line. So that's why our derivative has an x in it. This is not, this right here is not the equation of the tangent line. That represents the slope of the tangent line. So now we want the slope at our specific point, which is negative two. Right over here. I'm gonna plug that into the derivative and I get what, negative four plus two? I get negative two. So the slope of the tangent line at that point is negative two. Just a reminder. Now, um, example two, we're gonna look at how do we find the equation of that tangent line? So um, the equation of the tangent line You have to start off, you know, I'm just going to use the same function so I don't have to do that part again. You'll start off the same way. When I want the equation of the tangent line, um, and I'm just going to remind you that it's at x equals negative 2. You have to start off the same way. If you want the equation of the tangent line, you need to find the slope of the tangent line. So I'm going to use that answer from number 1. And again, if I didn't, if, if this was just a problem, like if example 2 was a problem right from the beginning, you'd have to start by doing... You know, if I didn't have you do this first example, you'd have to start by doing all this to get the slope of the tangent line. What else do I need to write the equation of a line? If you think back to algebra 1, I need a point. We're going to use point-slope form. I need slope and a point. Because we're going to use point-slope form in here. Forget slope-intercept form for now. So a quick reminder point slope form, it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That means you have to plug in a value for y1, slope, and x1. Well, we already have the slope of our tangent line, so we just need a point. We need the x and y coordinates of any point on the line. Well, we know an x coordinate is negative 2, so that's going to go in there for x1. We know our slope is going to go in there for m. How do we find y1? Well, I already know the x value for that point is negative 2, so I'm going to plug it into f. Note that I'm not plugging it into f prime. Up here, 
Up here, I was plugging into F prime to find the slope. Down here, I plugged the x value into F to find y1 or the y value of our point. So um, the original function was x squared plus 2x minus 8. So I'm going to plug negative 2 into that guy. Um, so that comes out to be what, 4 minus 4 minus 8, negative 8. So now I know the coordinates of the point where the line is tangent is negative 2, negative 8. That point is on the curve and also on the tangent line. So I've got this graph. Uh, negative 2, negative 8 is somewhere down here. Maybe the curve looks like this. We draw our tangent line. And that point of tangency I just found out was negative 2, negative 8. And I'm writing the equation of the line, that tangent line. So since negative 2, negative 8 is on that line, I can use it in my point slope form. So it's going to be y minus the y value equals the slope, which we know from before was negative 2 x minus the x value. So I simplify it and write y plus 8 equals negative 2 times x plus 2. I don't ask it for a certain form, so you can just give me that form. And that is how you find the equation of the tangent line.